Hello everyone, my name is Graham Dudgeon and welcome to part 5 in a series of videos where we'll provide insights and worked examples on the use of Simscape Battery, a new product in the Simscape portfolio. Simscape Battery has been developed to provide a technology development framework that's assembled specifically to create a bridge between cell and system. This bridge directly supports upskilling as well as design exploration and design rigor meaning you can navigate the technology development cycle rapidly and with confidence. Today, I'll show you how to estimate state of charge of a battery using a Kalman filter. The example we're working from today is battery state of charge estimation, which you can find in the documentation. First thing I'll do is open the MATLAB script. You see there are three lines of code in the script. So if I were to run this code as is, what would happen? It will open the model, set the parameters appropriately, simulate the model, and then show a response. If I go back to the documentation, it will provide this state of charge plot within MATLAB. I'm not going to do that today. I'm actually going to delve a little bit deeper into the simulation model itself. We'll explore the model, and we'll also talk about certain modeling characteristics and why we've included them in this example. So all I'm going to do is open the system. I'm just selecting that line, right click, evaluate selection in command window, and this will open the model. Okay, here's the model. So let me just expand that to full screen, press space bar. First thing I'm going to do is actually just simulate this. So we'll run it. I'll show you the result in the simulation data inspector. We've actually got two options here. You can see the results in a scope block. I'll just bring the scope block over so you can see that. Expand to full screen. So real SOC is our simulated state of charge. As we're running a simulation, we have the benefit of being able to calculate state of charge directly. From a practical perspective, we cannot directly measure state of charge. So we need some form of estimation to be able to do so. But you can see here that our estimated state of charge starts at a different initial state of charge, but then very quickly converges onto the trajectory of that measured state of charge and then tracks it quite well. You'll see there is noise here, and we'll talk a little bit more about that as I dig a little bit deeper into the example. Let me close this down. I can also view simulation results in the simulation data inspector. So the way that we make those signals available to the simulation data inspector, so I go to a signal here, you notice a little Wi-Fi symbol. If I click on the line, you see the three dots appear. If I hover over that and go here, and it says stop logging signal right now because I've already selected that. But this is a selection you would make to start logging the signal. Also on the measured state of charge, same thing. So we have these two Wi-Fi symbols, meaning real SOC and estimated SOC are available within the simulation data inspector. So let's take a look at that. And I'll just click real SOC and estimated SOC. You can see we have the same plot as we saw on the scope. Now, why would we use the simulation data inspector rather than the scope? Well, today I'm going to be running multiple simulations. I'm actually going to change settings within the Kalman filter, and I want to directly compare one simulation run against the other. And so the simulation data inspector is a good environment for me to do that. So let's go to the model and we'll talk about some of the components that we have in this model. First of all, we have a table-based battery block. I just double click there to open up the block parameters. So we have characterized this battery using state of charge, temperature, voltage, and resistance vectors and matrices and cell capacity. Let's just take a look at the data in the MATLAB workspace. Okay, so if I look at the state of charge vector, so you see we've characterized state of charge with seven data points. Temperature vector, in this case, three data points. These temperatures are in Kelvin. Open circuit voltage is a matrix. Each column relates to a temperature in the temperature vector, and the rows relate to the state of charge. So there's seven rows. We can also look at terminal resistance, and finally capacity. The point I'd like to make here is these matrices are quite small for the purposes of demonstration, 
but you can characterize these table-based models to whatever level of granularity you want. Final point, if I go down to thermal, see thermal port is set as model. So we have a thermal port exposed here. That's the orange line. If I was to set that to emit, it would remove that thermal port. I'm going to leave it as model. On the thermal side, we have a controlled temperature source, 292.15 Kelvin. We're measuring temperature with a temperature sensor. That measurement of temperature is going into our Kalman filter. We are also measuring voltage across the cell. That also is going into our Kalman filter, but we are introducing sensor noise to emulate real world effects. And in terms of the current, what we have is a current profile here. I'll just double click on this. It's taking measured state of charge as an input. I won't dwell on this, but what it's doing, when charging, it will charge at a constant rate of 15 amps. But when discharging, we are introducing some variability with white noise and with uniform ra random numbers in order to provide the discharge with some variability so that we can better test the accuracy of the estimation. We feed the current profile directly into a controlled current source to drive that battery. And as a measurement, we take it, add some sensor noise, and put that current into our Kalman filter. So let me show you where the state of charge estimator is in the Simscape battery library. We go to Simscape, battery, EMS, estimators. And the estimator that we're focusing on today is the Kalman filter state of charge estimator. You can see that we also have an adaptive Kalman filter and Coulomb counting for state of charge estimation, and also a state of health estimator, which is based on degradation in resistance. I'll now double click on the estimator. So we have four choices for the filter type, extended Kalman filter, extended Kalman Boosie, unscented Kalman, and unscented Kalman Boosie. Now the key point I'd like to make with these estimators well, there are additional parameters that you can set, the key point is you need a system model. And you can see that I'm using the data that parameterizes the battery table base block. So we just ran the extended Kalman filter. Let me select extended Kalman Boosie. Apply. And we'll now run this. Now, if we look at the data inspector, I have access run one is the extended Kalman, run two is the extended Kalman Boosie. So let's just look at estimated state of charge with the extended Kalman. That's purple. Let's change the estimation for the Kalman Boosie. Let's change it to purple. Let's just zoom in on the discharge profile. So you can see we have some differences in the estimation, which is a consequence, of course, that we're using different estimation algorithms. Let me just quickly go through the unscented. Simulate that. And we'll do the unscented Kalman Busi as well simulate that. Okay, let's take a look at our simulation data inspector. I will select the estimations for our other simulations. Just changing the colors as I go. Let's look at our charge profile here. And so you can see we have different results. We're using different estimation algorithms. So if I was doing a more thorough investigation of this, I would look at relative error of these estimations. And I would also configure these simulations to cover a much broader design exploration space. So I would change the white noise profiles. I would change charge and discharge cycles. But that can all be readily done within the simulation framework.
So to recap what we've looked at today, we've looked at battery state of charge estimation, specifically using the Kalman filter block within Simscape battery. And we can see from this model, we have both thermal and electrical effects. We use the table-based battery block in order to parameterize the battery. And that table data was also used to provide model information for our Kalman filter. We added current and voltage sensor noise using white noise blocks in order to emulate real-world measurement effect. I hope you have found this information useful. Thank you for listening.